Welcome back my Baldre peoples. You already know what time it is today. It's another review from your boy. It is going to be Doom Patrol Season 3, HBO Max's hit show. And um, I can't wait to get into this video. But Doom Patrol is one of my favorite comic book shows, so um, this should be exciting. But you already know what I'm going to say. Tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your family that about Drake got something to say. Subscribe to this channel, like this video because it helps, and let's get into it. No, it's, it's a snap. So, season three of Doom Patrol picks up from where we left off in season two, where the team goes to the carnival searching for um, the chief's daughter, Dorothy, and they all get sort of like defeated by this candle imaginary friends slash demons of Dorothy and they all get waxed and then we're left off on that. We get here and stuff happens. I can't spoil anything because this is a spoiler spoiler free review by the way. And um I'll just leave it at that. So one thing I always always liked about Doom Patrol is that it lends itself to just being over the top it lends itself to just be completely weird um it doesn't kind of like follow any type of typical pattern or structure of especially with the whole superhero genre it's its own thing it's been its own thing even before some people who watch this show right here just claimed it was just so claimed that show was just so different. Doom Patrol has always been its own stuff. Its own, it's always driven in its own lane. But with that, it has become a bore. I just don't know how much more we can keep having characters searching for themselves or searching for this part of themselves since season one. Like, with shows is different. Like, with any movie show, a character goes through an arc. But, in my opinion, with each season, the character goes through that arc from the beginning of the season and they end that, that arc sometimes. And they start on a new journey. I feel like these characters have been going on the same discovery or trying to find themselves and searching for where they belong since, I don't know, season. This The show actually feels like it's been eight seasons so far. And what's annoying and what's becoming annoying for me is that I don't, is the, is the budget restraints. Like every, every other episode we are in the house on the mission or in the forest on the mission or we're in the forest in some labyrinth illusion fighting some spirit entity that gives us some life lesson. I don't know how, many, how much more we could keep doing that with episode. Also, I don't know why each scene is some mini bit monologue. I often found myself watching these five episodes doing this. By episode two is where I was like, finally we get to see some glimpse of the Brotherhood of Evil. And it was, episode two is where it kind of like takes off to me and then it goes back down. It's like it goes on a hide and it comes right back down immediately. Also, Cyborg, your walk annoys the hell out of me. <laughs> what the hell? It, just, it walks annoys the f out. It annoys me. Like, what the f is that? So episode three is another labyrinth of illusions and it's just like, oh my God, like really can it stop already? The problem what I have with a lot of these superhero shows is that they never, it can never find a balance be between showing the character's humanity and then showing that 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 extra comic book kicking ass part that we all watch these these things for, but it can never it never knows a balance. It, it it's like either one more than the other, and it just can't, I I don't know. It's just I'm not gonna say every comic book movie or show, but a lot of them. And this is starting to show its, 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 um, and this show is starting to show its soft ass, if that makes any sense. So episode, episode four and five, like, I, I don't know what else more to say. Like, it's all the same. It's the same. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm being repetitive by saying that, but it's the truth. Like, I was, I wasn't, 
into it. I'm, I'm really disappointed because I really enjoy season one. I liked season two, but it's it's starting to show the the weak. It's weak parts, and it's starting to kind of like. I don't know if this show can last if it keeps doing this. Also, I love seeing Michelle Gomez from The Flight Attendant in Doctor Who, but I feel like Michelle Gomez was pretty much playing her character from The Flight Attendant. <laughs> it's like, I'm, and I'm not too, too familiar with Michelle Gomez's work, but, and I, I like her, but it, I just felt like, oh, I've seen her. She did this before. And, um, yeah. Overall, uh, I, I, I'm going to finish this season out. I, 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 I maybe I don't know I don't know I just I just want more because I feel like we should be in such a different place now at this point but with the obvious budget constraints with all the the it's just it just it just feels like I don't know if the show can go the distance to where I need it to go and where it should be because of that and then I don't know if it necessarily wants to um and the decision making far as I can tell is from behind the scenes it's it's rearing this ugly head and it's just like um yeah I just need more from the set and also I just need more from the sets I need more than a mansion a cave and a force <laughs> like <laughs> but overall guys um I think I'm I, I made my point I, I, I don't because I feel like I keep saying stuff is going to go into spoiler territory and I don't want to do that and yeah so check it out guys it comes it premieres tomorrow I believe the first three episodes um and then after that it's going to be episode all the way up until I believe November I believe don't quote me that so guys um check it out season three Doom Patrol I catch you in the next video and peace